Yeah, baby. There you go, my whip. By the top of the truck. My keys. Right. Haven't driven this in a few the woods. I got two tickets today. Starting today with two tickets. Well, that's kind of booty. That's pretty trash. I did not think I'd take a big fat double L. Loading zone, past 7 a.m. Amount due, $63. Cool. I didn't even sleep in. I thought I was gonna make it, but I was like, I'm, um, I'm a little bit late. <laughs> supposed to leave the loading zones by 7 a.m. And it's about 7.30, but. That's not nice. No, it's not. I didn't even, what the f <laughs> ah. Plus, y'all, add that to the fact that I woke up sick. I'm really sick. I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I'm really sick. Hey, how's it going? Good. All right. Um, in fact, I'm so sick that this is probably going to be the only time that I will leave the house today. I'm like really sick. I don't know how this happened, but I'm like dizzy. I'm so sick, I'm kind of dizzy, and my sore, my throat's really sore. <laughs> Gotta pay my rent. Also, this is the year I realized that paying rent or how much you pay in rent is so subjective to who you are and such because my man can i ask you a question how do you like riding this bike you don't like it the amount of rent is so relative because i was talking to one of my good friends and he pays like pays like hundred dollars a month which i find astronomically high like that's high but he pays it comfortably he pays it very comfortably from what i know and i know of other youtubers who pay far more like so much in rent I'm good, but I mean, this is the most rent I think I'll ever pay. Take a look at this site. I'm the last guy here. <laughs> Everybody left. I was about to get my ass locked in here. No, but honestly, if I could start all over, if I could go back to when I was moving in December, probably would have got a way cheaper apartment so I could have a garage space. It's really, really tough not having a garage. I miss it. I miss it. I'm going to go to this spot. So, uh, in, in here, this is a regular department store. You'd be surprised, a lot of the blanks that you find here in this regular ass department store are the same blanks that you would buy in the fashion district in downtown LA at bulk prices. And, you know, quantities are like 50, 60, 100, whatever you want to do. It's the same garment. It's literally the same garment. Uh, these are actually advantageous because sometimes you can find really nice one-off of things, one-offs of things at a price because everything here is either not perfect quality, which means it was never worn, but it didn't meet, uh, you know, like uh, quality check requirements for whatever brand, or it's just far out of season and no one would probably consider buying it at a regular retail store or from the retailer. That's why I suggest going to places like Ross, places like this store that I'm in right now, looking at the blanks, you can probably find something you like maybe print one thing on it and then go get an entire run done. A lot of the retailers in the fashion district do not like doing samples. They only want to do bulk orders right off the bat or they'll do a sample after you place the order. So here you can circumvent that somewhat by finding the blank, knowing what it's going to look like because you can print one and then doing your entire bulk order. The hard part is actually looking through all the garments because uh, you know some of them are imperfect in other ways than just the stitching. You actually have to look at every single piece. Uh, but that's just part of the game, you know, if you really want to do it yourself, you got to do the work. These are like athletic shorts and the material is just so insanely nice. But the thing is, I would definitely see these same shorts with a Nike or a Reebok or an Adidas logo on them and they'd be $70. But here, four bucks. Look, bro, they even got Yeezys. I could come go and get, I could come get fitted up here, bro. To be honest, this place looks, uh, I mean, it doesn't really look clean or anything. It's honestly dirty as hell. I don't know how else I could put it to be 100% blunt, but. Inside of it. That's the way I see it, I mean, in those places. <laughs> I 
Hell yeah. Oh man, no, 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 no. Yeah, look at this guy. What a savage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop recording in the middle of that. That was a fail. They wouldn't let me use my credit card without an ID. I forgot my ID. I'm not a scammer, so I don't think to bring my ID everywhere. It's a pretty good deal. Um, so I didn't actually buy anything, but take that tip from me. I highly recommend it. Uh, go to a department store, a cheap place like Ross, if you have anything like that where you live. Bad. Um, if you want to start making shirts, that's where you should start. Go get your blanks there, and then if you like it, expand from there. Okay. Looks like we're going on a little adventure today. Got some air in my tires, so I'm ready to hit some jumps. Oh my god. Alright. What's going on in LA today? Alright, let's get it started. Gotta make it through ski. <laughs> what a psycho. Oh, okay. Go up here. Got a bulletproof vest. Hell yeah. Show you got the armor on. She ready for warfare out here. Damn. Gotta get off the sidewalk. Man, I would drive one of those around all day. So as you guys know, I have like a, a mass of bikes currently. Let me just update y'all real quick on what's going on with these bikes. I'm also gonna announce two people who won bikes right now, so listen up. All right, so I really like this bike. I have said I'm going to give it away, but I might not give it away this month and wait until like a couple months down the line because I really like the chrome stuff, but it's not gonna be back in stock until I think next month. Basically, I just wanna continue riding a chrome bike, so I'll keep this one until I can recreate all these chrome parts and then I'll give it away. So there's actually three bikes, one, two, three, that I'm giving away right here. This one, uh, it's in pieces, but this is uh, it's gonna have a cassette on it. This will be given away with a cassette. This is the bike that we intended to put brakes on, but we didn't because we could not find the pieces for the gyro. So it'll be given away with a cassette in the condition that it's in, which is still really good. Over here we have this bike, which really hasn't been touched. This has the chrome cranks, a free coaster, and it's blacked out with a camo seat. Giving this away. And then lastly, I wasn't sure for the longest if I wanted to give this white bike away because let's, let's take a good look at it. Yeah, here it is. This is a very, very dope, one-of-a-kind bike. We built this to match the M3, so you know how I'm at. On the bike rack, I use red straps. That's what the red nipples are for. And then the rest is just white with the, my signature seat and grips. I'm giving it away. I didn't think I was gonna give it away, but uh, I'm giving it away. This one, it's like, it's really, it's just strikingly beautiful. When I ride it around the city, people are just, they just look at it. But I don't really have an emotional attachment to this bike or any of them, so I'll be giving it away. Simple as that. And then the last one that I have is the one that I just picked up, so I need to ride it a little bit. But I really like this colorway with the teal tires and the raw. So that's the update. 
Anyways, right now I'm announcing the winner for this bike, the black bike, and the other black bike that will have a cassette and gyro tabs for uh, running brakes if the winner chooses. This bike with chrome cranks and a cassette is going to Scott Walker in Waco, Texas. Scott, leave a comment or email me or DM me on Instagram. Let me know that you saw this and that you are ready to receive this bike. And the winner for this bike is Cambria Hernandez from Shafter, California. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Let me know also that you see this and that you are ready to win this bike. Even though it's in pieces, I'll make sure everything's dialed before it gets to you. If you have not won a bike, do not fret. I picked the winners from people who have accounts on hicksfam.com who have supported by copying something. Now a lot of people always say they want the giveaways to be international. We'll be doing our first in a while international giveaway very soon. If you guys remember, I did one and gave the bike to someone in Brazil. I haven't heard from him since he got the bike, which is kind of disappointing, but um, yeah, stay tuned if you want to win this chrome bike. And as far as stuff we actually got on the website, we're pretty low on everything actually. We got a few hoodies left, but I did just re-up on beanies. These are embroidered with the new logo and they look sick as hell. So these are gonna be on the website by the time you watch this. Here's all the bikes that I currently have. There's five, this is all of them stacked up. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Number one with the teal tires, number two all blacked out, number three white bike to match my car, number four just uh, that bike, or number five the all chrome. Which one of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I cannot decide between teal tires and the chrome bike. They're both really sexy. But I think off of appearance, the teal tires is more striking. The chrome bike is cleaner. Let me know what you guys think. These are all really expensive completes and somebody is gonna get them for like buying a t-shirt or a hoodie from a website. I think that's pretty dope. I don't know. I don't understand why people give me a lot of crap about the, my giveaways. I guess, you know, I could just give stuff away, but I don't know, I did that before and I gave away stuff to a person that like talked mess on me but then covered it up and they got a free bike out of me. So that's why I changed the system. It might change again, but right now this is what it is. I don't know. There, name somebody else who's giving away bikes like this. That's all I'm saying. I don't really know of anybody. Well, that's gonna be it for this one, folks. I will vlog more, I promise. Promise to you, if you are still watching, I don't know, well, my channel has just taken a dump recently. I think it's too much GoPro stuff, so I'm gonna be doing more like vlogging, just like me talking to you guys, even if, you know, that's probably not gonna go viral like a GoPro video would. Oh well. I need to make, I need to talk to you guys because, I don't know, I'm just talking nonsense. So I'm gonna close this one out. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.